Okay, hello, this is Tonham here, and today we have the 100 subscriber special. It's inside this box right here. So I have ordered a... We need to get all this stuff out of the way. Uh, yeah, I have a new setup. I also have a new room. So we can continue the handbird series, because originally why I didn't continue or uh, the handbird series was left unfinished. I did plan some parts of the room scenes. I did record and edit them, but then I decided not to upload them because the uh, room is going to get redesigned and having it done halfway through the series would be awkward, so I waited until. And right now, it looks kind of like a city. We have all the, the Lego collection here, the entire Lego collection. I'll be continuing this as well, but of course I needed to wait for a uh, redesign of the room or a remake of the room. So, of course, we also have some other cars. If we walk out of the room, of course... Here is the whole thing. So we've got the computers down here. We also have a new uh, chair. It's a gaming chair, I guess. Uh, the laptop, of course. A desktop computer, which is full of hard drives. There's a hard drive there. There's a hard drive here, there. Hard drive connected here, two terabytes. There's also one here, which is the external two terabyte one, which I got around a year ago, which is still working. I still have uh, 150 gigabytes left on there. That's how many videos I've been recording. Uh, the reason why I haven't done any gaming videos and uh, every game on my computer series videos is because uh, there's really low space on my computer to record games. So right now I have 15.2 gigabytes on the computer right now, as we can see. So yeah, times have been difficult. Also, uh, when I was playing Grand Theft Auto Online, the computer overheated to the point where the microphone on the computer overheated from the processor because it was like really close on the board, and um, it just stopped working, and I can't get it to work. I can do it through the phone, but that does mean I have to sync it with the computer, which unsyncs the audio, which is really bad. But now the main part of the video, does this even fit here? Well, no, not exactly. I also have a new mouse. So here is the laptop. I do have a new mouse. Well, I have a new mouse since we've last... Well, I'm using a different mouse. It's not really new. It's still kind of old. Uh, it's from a year ago, about. About one year ago. The other one, when I was getting out of bed, because right now it happened recently because I have to jump off the bed. There's no ladder anywhere. So, of course, I have to jump down. It fell on the floor. I jumped down. And I landed on it. It still works, it still clicks. However, the scroll wheel is broken. Now this has really good specs compared to the laptop I have now. It will unlock a lot of a lot of extra things that we couldn't do before. Wow, that's quite a lot of packaging. Let me make this thing higher. Here we go. Well, it's not bubble wrap, but okay. Just dumped it down there. But you also seem to have sent some other things. Oh, okay, there's a new mouse. Oh yeah, they said they're going to send a new mouse because we uh, ordered this in um, uh, December, like around the beginning of December. Oh look, it's like a magnetic thing. It's kind of unnecessary, but it's cool. And this is the mouse pad, a mumbo jumbo mouse pad. Uh, I expect a lot of redstone in this. No, actually, it's just a, a simple thing. Okay, well, still, now the laptop itself. Wow, this thing is heavier than the laptop I have now. Well, actually, it's full of hardware, so it's probably why it's heavy. All right, here it is. As you can see, it's, it's uh, well... It's like a, a, a chill bus wall plaster right there. I guess if you're a really big fan of chill bus, you can just put this out in your room. Now, I think I opened it upside down. No, I didn't. Notebook series portable computer. Nice. Right, there's nothing else in this box. There's so many. There's like a box inside a box. Pretty insane if you think about it. There we go. Oh, I can see it. Wow. There's 
oh yeah there's the charger the charging brick don't unplug your laptop when you're at home unless you're outside yet yeah, probably there's also some air bubbles you can peel that off right time for the ultimately satisfying thing is that it no it's this thing Wow. It's really nice and shiny. So here is the um, the junk that has accumulated right now. <laughs> There's quite a lot of it. So uh, yeah, this is what the bottom of it looks like. And uh, let's open it. Ooh, even the, the screen protector. Satisfying. So many of these stickers. Satisfying. Yay. I don't know how frequently I will use the mouse pad if I don't have a mouse. So the charging cable itself. Ooh. It's a thick charging brick. Have the um the laptop end plugged in first. And then the uh, actual thing, so let's turn this on. Alright, it was the plug. So yeah, there it is. Of course, I also have a um, new phone. Uh, it can record in 4K apparently, but I only use 1080p because it's more uh, space efficient, because with the amount of space I have on this laptop, of course, this also has a 1TB hard drive just like this one. So I'll skip the setup because it, it's not really interesting, there's nothing interesting about it. So we'll just be back when we're in Windows. Okay, it is ready. I'm getting all these things off of the, uh, off of my chair. We'll also test this mouse that we got. Let's have a look at the display. Okay, so the display of this is high resolution. The apps are just smaller, that's just all I notice. Also, the backgrounds are the same, so that's pretty nice. Well, it's a stock Lenovo background. I kept mine through the almost two years that I had this computer. Any USBs? Yes, there is. Wait, is that it? Okay, so that was a CD drive. Oh. USB protector. So we plug it back. There's a Type 2 on that side. It, there's a, a USB here, and it's going to get in the way of the mouse. But of course, this is a USB 1. This goes down to USB 1 because it's white. Alright. Oh wow, <laughs> RGB. Wait, is this thing also RGB? How do I turn on the um, lighting? Wait, what? Oh, 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 oh. Just drag all of this stuff in here, because there's a Fire of the Phantom fans. I, I uploaded that to the OneDrive. I don't remember doing that. Wait, phone two cam. That's actually from the the old Celeron computer. Wow. I should I should get back to that. Oh, <laughs> this thing is really. This brings me. This brings back a lot of memories and how I used to record my videos. Because of course back then I didn't have a recording software. I did try recording software on this, it was blurry and laggy. You don't want them together. So. That's when I got this computer, and now I have this computer, which will perform even better than this, and has an RTX card. So first things that I want to do is install Steam. That's normal. I even remember the first set of videos that I did, that had the um, phone camera in front of the screen. That was a really long time ago. I came a really long way since then. Now I came to where I am now, 100 subscribers, 100 people enjoying my content to subscribe. I mean, the video that got the most views is, well, this video here. This is a, um, a video about the computer exploding. Well, not literally, but still, it's um, a power supply explodes from age. Not from the wrong um, power range, because um, the house plugs were 110 volts anyways. Another thing about power supplies is that they explode instantly if they are overloaded. Unlike the one in that video where it didn't explode instantly. 
There's actually quite a lot of comments. I'm going to do a whole new video on that. Right, so let's go into the specs. Right, so I installed everything I need on my computer. So, uh, yeah, let's boot a BeamNG and see how well it runs. Found a way to change the color of the keyboard, or not the color, the gradient. So we hold the FN key and we also press the um, this button here. And it also changes the thing like this. So yeah, oh yeah, we load it in. All right. And also the mouse is all RGB, so that's really nice, pretty good. Oh yeah, well, we sh you saw in the montage. Also, I'm using headphones. Well, the, n the old headphones, these ones just look nice. Wait, how's my mouse moving without moving? Right, so here it is. Uh, there's still textures loading in, but that should be fixed soon. Um, well, it's still kind of transparent. We'll see how it handles. Well, yeah. Pretty nice. Reflection, we can see the reflection here. The inside is not loaded in. Well, yeah, we can see that. Okay, it's starting to load in. So, as far as quality in game goes, there's not much change in quality. Because, well, I did high settings on the other one, but this one is on just the more intense map. So, yeah. Just see how well it forms. And we crashed. I couldn't see anything it was in cinematic mode. Alright, next car, let's go with a sport. Well, there we go. That's sport. Actually, let's um spawn in AI, but I want to change the um limit. Because there is a limit. I want to turn that up. Where is it? Um, okay, turn that down. We don't need that. It's unnecessary. Uh, no, that's just frame limiter. Okay, here it is. So, uh, like 15. Well, yeah, there we go. So we just need to wait for this to load in. Hopefully it loads in quick. I installed this onto the SSD of the computer, so it should load in faster. 
the hard drive is that's just for videos and it's loading alright oh oh the frame rate is a bit low so so this is basically unplayable I mean there is a T-series spawned in which is really intense this is basically torture for the gamers so if there's actual people that play with high FPS oh now it's high Anyways, we need to turn it back down. I went to gameplay. So we need to turn it down to around 6. Where's the delete AI? Is there no button for that? Um, and why are we rolling backwards? Yeah, there's no stop, so we just have to go into the, um, the editor. Well, yeah, I don't see it. Oh, there it is didn't do anything. Okay, uh, let's go into the car thing and uh, delete it there. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Now let's try some classic car. Uh, ah, the burn side, that's perfect for that. Usually older cars just look better with these high quality settings. Um, okay. Wait, that was a police? Okay, let's just drive down. There we go, that's a good crash. Well, there we go. That is that. That's the damage. So this is just how powerful the graphics processor is. So if I did this on the old laptop, it would really lag. On this one, we can see the houses really well. So that's the difference between the old, older, and this. Oh, what's this? Oh, we can go in here with cars. Well, we can basically go in anywhere, but without teleporting or having to teleport. And there's a jump here. I'm ending the 100 subscriber special. I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far into the video, leave a comment that you made it this far. Now, me having this new laptop will give me much more game quality when I do my videos. Of course, if I ever get a better computer than this, I'll never forget the fun I had with this old thing. 
This is the laptop that started my YouTube channel. My first ever videos were edited on this. Oh, so nostalgic looking back at those old videos. See how far I've come since the three years I've started my YouTube channel. Well, anyways, I have some assignments to do for my college course. Oh, and there's half a ton of them, so I need to get going with it. Alright, see you in the next video.